Hey there, today I'm going to give a review or uh, show you how to use the Pixlr Express Plus app. Uh, you can either take a photo with it or you can load a photo. It's a full-fledged photo editor. So here I imported a photo and the first thing I'll show is uh, the adjustments. You pop it up and you have all the options. Uh, red eye, auto fix, contrast, brightness. Here I'm going to try the color splash where I tap in the screen, select a color, and then I can change the tint of that color with a slider. And if I like what I see, I could click apply. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and click cancel. I'll show you a few of these others. Here's the auto fix. It was really quick and didn't do a whole lot to this shot, so I canceled out of that. Uh, here I'll show you uh, radial blur, and it also has a linear blur. I couldn't get the linear blur to rotate, so I'm not sure if that's possible in here. Uh, here was brightness and contrast. You click on something, and then you can adjust the slider, and then you can cancel or apply. Here, I'll just go ahead and cancel. The other big feature you have here is effects. It comes with some default effects, and there's a whole bunch of others. Here's the default effects. You can see there's all sorts uh, with various names, and that kind of looks good. You can always zoom in if you want to, uh, drag the photo around a bit. I'll go ahead and apply that one. With these other effects, uh, with this paid version, you can then download uh, lots of these and you get the little option do you want to download so there's a lot of these packs that have different effects um, and there are a lot of them uh, this was sort of the uh, kind of creative and so it did little slicing and things like that to create color you can then fade those in or out uh, and then you can always cancel or apply these things once you apply it's been put in your image and then you can further apply new effects on top of that and they will continue uh, to roll on. And so I just showed you a few more of these uh, other ones in here and mostly I'm canceling out of these. Uh, and after the effects here I'll then show you the uh, the other option of the overlay that we have in a second here as soon as I cancel. So on the overlay, you can basically apply uh, textures or uh, various other things uh, on top of the photo. And so here I put a metal uh, thing in here. You can then flip that horizontally or vertically or rotate uh, that. And I zoomed in just to show it to you a little bit here. And so once again, there are a ton of packs that you can download. These are just some of the default ones. Uh, but look at all these other packs you can choose from. Uh, and I'll say yes, I'll download it. And it takes a little while to download. And then I have all sorts of options with that one. And once again, you can always fade these things in or out uh, with no problem. And so we'll jump over to the, uh, as soon as I get done here. Uh, borders is the last main thing we have as soon as uh, I jump out of here in just a second. I got a little carried away. And here's some borders. Once again, you have a default set and then a whole bunch of other packs that you can download. And so here's the default set. And there's a variety ranging from grungy looking to uh, more traditional white. One thing I've noticed is that when you export the photo, the border size doesn't exactly match what you see in this picture. Uh, it seemed to be small when I exported it full resolution photos. Uh, but just like the others, you can fade the borders in and out, you can apply multiple borders. And here I'll export, and I chose full uh, resolution, which is a nice feature. And it spins for a little while while it applies all the effects that you've had in there. And then it lets you save the photo to your camera roll or share the photo. That's about all I've got today. Uh, I really like this app and hope that you continue, uh, you enjoy it. There's a free version you can get 
and also the paid version, which is just uh, currently on sale for a dollar, but I have a feeling the price will go up pretty soon. So it's a really nice app, and I'm glad you uh, enjoyed the little show if you made it this far through. Be sure to drop by iOS Photo Apps if you get a chance.